Hey guys, I'm Deepthi Desikin and today's video I'm going to be talking about some brush sets that I picked up from Amazon which it's scattered right here. So two of these sets are pretty okay in price range like they're pretty affordable but one is quite pricey. I, f I found it to be quite pricey. It was way over 1200 rupees. So let's get started. I will talk to you guys about everything and before we get started with the video, excuse the eye look. I had to film, I was filming another video and I'm batch filming currently because yeah, I have a lot of, lot of work this month and uh, my eyeshadow is not the best today because I had to take it off at least twice and then redo the entire thing and I just was not having it today. It's just one of those days. So ignore the mess. So let's look past this and move on to the first brush set. This is from the brand called MAC Plus and these have just eye brushes. I remember that there used to be face brush set as well for this brand but uh, now it's not available on Amazon so you can just get the eye brush set and a single brush which I have I will show it to you guys in just a bit. So this brush set it was for 2.99 rupees and in this you get eight brushes so I was thinking okay this is really affordable so if it actually works out uh, you could have a really affordable brush set in your vanity and you don't really have to spend a lot of money because one thing I feel like I don't want to invest a lot of money in is makeup brushes i want something that is affordable but yet something that does the job for me but sadly this didn't really make the cut for me let me talk to you guys about all of the brushes individually quick so firstly we have this sort of like an angled brush which doesn't do much you can't really use this for nose contouring because it's not sturdy enough where it would give you a precise nose contour you can't really blend anything on it's not like sturdy enough to blend anything and then this uh, these blending brushes they are okay like they're just okay it is not very good if you want to add like a precise color like onto your crease with more definition you can't really do that you can get like a rough blend but they also don't really pick up a lot of product so that's something that i wanted to let you guys know and again this flat shader brush doesn't work very well for shimmer eyeshadows it can work for loose pigments but for shimmer as such it doesn't really pick up the product like you'd want and uh, you'd be forever dipping your brush in this and you would not really pick it up as much so what i use this for is to apply concealer and like blend it onto my eyelid or to shape my eyebrows like with concealer around it that's all you can use this for uh, again another blending brush which the bristles are all out of this and one thing I want to tell you guys is some of this do shed a lot of hair and some don't so it varies again from brush to brush and again batch to batch in my opinion so this one again is not enough for me like to get the blend it's not sturdy enough I don't like bl brushes that do that like can you see that it's okay if you want to just blend all over but can you see that you can't really apply any precise color because it keeps moving and it's like flimsy so i don't really like that one and these brushes are pretty okay in my opinion like if you want to apply a little bit of color onto your crease and just like pack some color on it's okay this one does it too like i've used it today and this one is actually a really nice pencil brush you can use it for your under eye area and pack color on your outer corners so this brush set you get just almost three brushes that actually do the job for you the other ones uh yeah you can use it because you have it but are they completely useful and will that suffice because you're starting off and you're thinking I'll buy this brush set and I should be able to do my eyeshadow look really well. Not really. I have other brush videos. <clears throat> Check that out. I will link it right here where I have mentioned about very good brushes in that. Affordable brushes only. And then I got like I mentioned from that same brand a single brush. Only this is the only thing that is available and this is from the same brand called MAC Plus and this is like a powder brush. So this works really well if you want to use it for powder, setting your face with powder, loose powder, pressed powder, to an extent even to blend your blush. Not very intensely apply your blush, but slightly apply it like this and blend it, it does the job for that. Not so much for bronzing because it's not fluffy enough here. It's too pointed where it doesn't even pick up your bronzer that well for you to bronze your skin with that. And it is a little bit like too long, the bristles and flimsy. So you can use this for powder, loose powder and blush. But this again was quite affordable. That's the reason I picked it up. I think you can get other brushes instead of this, like the Swiss Beauty powder brush. This one, 
I really like this powder brush. It does multiple things for me. It applies my powders very well, loose powder, pressed powder. It applies bronzer really well. It applies blush as well. So this is a multitasking brush and almost the same price range. So you can pick that one up. And then let's move on to some brush set. So let's talk about the BS Small brush set. So the BS Small brush set, it comes in this kind of a brush holder, which I've actually tried to segregate the good brushes, the bad brushes and keep it aside like this. So this is a brush holder. And this one was for 1499, I think, or 1299, really pricey in my opinion. And not all the brushes again work very well in this. First, let me talk about the brushes that don't really work in this. So the first one I wanna be talking about is this brush. I don't really know the purpose of this. I try to use it for contour, but it's so dangly. It doesn't give you that precision that you would want. So I think it's just for nose contouring and yeah, could could have been avoided. And probably if they had added a highlighting brush or something, I would have been really happy. And then they have a shader brush. This would pick up your loose pigments again really well, but not your shimmer shadow because it's quite thick and dense. When the brush is that thick and dense, it doesn't really pick up the shimmer shadow. So for that, you need a brush like this. This is from the brand called Babila and it's less than 100 rupees. This one picks up the shimmer shade really well because you can see it doesn't really have that depth. It's kind of thin and flat. So that's the kind of brush that I like. And then they have this brush, which is again an angled brush, which doesn't really do anything much and a very thin liner brush, which I don't really use. Maybe people will get use out of it. And they also have another brush like this. This, I might use it to apply like a line of color underneath, uh, in my lower lash line. Like if you want like a line, visible line, not a blended look, not like a pencil brush, you can probably use this. Or maybe like if you want to highlight your inner corner, but Again, a brush that could have been avoided. And so out of that, I picked these brushes out. So I segregated the brushes and I kept this one aside and thought, okay, this is a little bit better. So first one, we have a flat top kabuki brush, which is quite flimsy. It's not as dense as you would want it to. Very similar to the Swiss Beauty brush, if you can see. This is a Swiss Beauty brush, which has more of that surface area. And this is the BS Small brush, which doesn't have that but it does the job of blending your uh, foundation pretty well so this brush you can use it to buff the product onto your skin as opposed to dragging it especially if you're using a very like liquidy foundation it will make it very streaky so if you're going to buff it in it works pretty well and then they have another one which is more of an angled kabuki brush which does the job for you if you want to blend your contour, if you want to blend your foundation. And it, because it has that angle, it actually fits right onto your face like that. So does the job. My favorite brush from this is this brush, which also is quite angled, but it's not like a kabuki brush. It's like a round top brush. So with this, you can actually apply your foundation pretty well. You can use this for blush. I also use this to blend in my cream products, like my bronzer contour products. And this does the job of blending it. This is how I like my brushes to be quite dense, quite packed and nice. So this one is a really nice brush. Then we have this powder brush. This one works pretty well for bronzer, powder and blush. So this is again a multi-purpose brush. So you get a lot of use out of it. And then they have some eye brushes. So they have this kind of a blending brush, which both of these do work really well to blend your eyeshadow. Uh, they're not very thick, but they're not very flimsy as well. So you do get the kind of precision you would want. If you want very, very, very precise application, you wouldn't get it. So you want to apply your transition shade with a certain amount of intensity and a certain amount of precision. And then you want to get it to blend. Then you can use this. But to apply it with precision, maybe you wouldn't get that. This brush, at least it's okay. Like it's a little bit short and you can get it to blend. But this one is a little bit long. The bristles are long. So it's a nice uh, blending brush. You can blend the shades on and uh, make it look more diffused and then they have this um, angled brush with a spoolie so you can use this to fill in your uh, you can use this for your lip as well like a lip brush you can use this to fill in your eyebrows you can use this for liner and they also have a spoolie that is nice and then they have these kind of brushes which for color here it has the right amount of density and uh, you can pack on some color and blend it like this so and then they have this flat shader brush which is pretty good in picking up the shimmer shades 
you can wet the brush and then pick up your shimmer shades to pack on a little bit more punch also another face brush that you get is this one this is like a pointed brush which i thought this would be really nice to blend your concealer but it is kind of like a hassle it would have been nice really nice if the bristles were shorter than this because it's not really pokey but it's just a little bit of a hassle to blend your concealer but maybe to use this around your mouth and apply powder it is pretty good and then the last brush they have is this pencil brush which i really like it also i did use this to pack on the color on my lid as well it did a really good job of picking up the color just the way i wanted it to and uh, also to diffuse the color on my lower lash line and so in this brush set i have about six brushes that don't really perform very well they can you can still find some use out of it you can still make them work but uh, could have been avoided and maybe got the price down a little bit but these 10 brushes actually work pretty well and then moving on we have this brush set from start makers and i was like really intrigued with the way these brushes were looking and that's the reason i picked it up this one was for 8.99 the brush set so i've kept them aside let's talk about the brushes that could have been avoided again the first one is of course this one this is the this is a fan brush which i'm not a very big fan of i don't really like fan brushes i like more tapered brushes fluffy brushes for my highlight this one does apply the highlight pretty well but it's kind of stark so anyways you need something else to blend it on but i think it would still work for a lot of people some people are like just magicians they can make anything work so you can still make that thing work and then uh, this one this is a flat top kabuki brush and oh my god makes your foundation pretty streaky doesn't blend it pretty well and it doesn't have the the density the brushes need to blend those liquid products on so i was just not a very big fan of it and then again you get these angled brushes which i feel like are of no use and what do you really do with these kind of brushes okay you can blend your contour on your nose but I wish they either add brushes that we would really need or delete the brushes we don't really need and lower the prices. And then these kind of like tapered, like a shading brush with a little bit of tapered crease brush or fluffy blending brush. Doesn't really do the job of blending your eyeshadow well because the bristles are quite long and they don't really do anything on your eye. So something that could have been avoided and a very thick shader brush pretty thick again you can use this to blend like some cream products on your eye or sh loose pigments but not really shimmer shade and then this blending brush this you can just use it only to blend some color after you've applied it like once you've done applying an intense orange you just want to blend that orange it will do it and then some brushes that i do like however this brush this is like a buffing brush which is a rounded buffing brush which i like because i can use this for multiple things i can use this for my foundation i can use this for blush i can use this to blend out my contour as well i like the density that this brush has and then this is an angled brush which again works pretty well for like chiseling out your cheekbones and if you want to blend foundation in between your eyebrows this one does it and then we have a pointed powder brush which is a really nice brush these kind of brushes I really like and these pick up the product just the way you want to. You can use it for multiple purposes just like the other pointed brushes that I mentioned. So keeping those fluffy brushes aside you are left with not many eye brushes. So these kind of pointed precise brushes I do really like because they give me the precision I want. They apply the product with precision that I want and they are really nice okay you would think that what is this is this even an, a liner brush but this works really well when you want to line your lips and when you have a messy lipstick application this comes in handy for that this one i would use it for my lower lash line i would also use this to blend some lip color on my lip or even on my eye I, depends and then this one is a nice liner brush it is quite thick you won't get a very thin line but you can use this to again fill in your lips. I use most of my angle liner brushes as lip brush because you can get that precise application and also to fill in my brows, not so much for liner. A nice pencil brush which you can diffuse the color on your lower lash line. And then these two brushes which are just like your eyebrow brush. This one you can uh, use this to like separate your eyelashes if suppose they are clumping up and your mascara is like making your eyelashes stick together to one another. You can use this brush to comb it out 
and this one I used to use these kind of brushes a lot for my eyebrow to brush the eyebrow hair so they are always useful and a spoolie so you don't get an angled brush here it's just a spoolie which is pretty useful so out of this six brushes I don't really find much use out of the nine brushes I do really like and something else I noticed is that these might not last you that long and they might not be very sturdy because this part it just keeps moving around yeah so sooner or later this uh, the business are going to fall apart and this is going to fall apart I, I, I can feel it already every single time I'm using it. When I started to use this, there were some bristles that were shedding, which I'm okay with, but I just hope that they don't fall apart in the long run. And then I have one sponge. This is from the brand called CAL. And this is the packaging that it came in. I was really like, what did I order any Too Faced product? Because the color scheme and the packaging and everything is so good. I was really amazed with this. This one is priced at 320 rupees. And what an amazing sponge. It's so nice and squishy and it just blends your product really well. It's exactly like the Mars Cosmetics sponge. So if you don't really want to buy this, you can stick to that itself because both of these perform exactly the same. But if you were wondering how this sponge actually works, it's pretty good. So those were all the brushes that I tried out. These were some of the requested brushes like the BS Small one, the Start Makers brush set. So that's the reason I thought of reviewing it. Now, always take it with a grain of salt. These are quite affordable, but you might not really get a very good bang for your buck because you're actually spending for the entire thing and some of these brushes might not even really work for you. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Do let me know what other videos you'd like to watch. Leave them in the comment section down below. And while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. If you keep this up, then I'll